Come on, girls. Let's go. Still one calf way the hell over there. Morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? It's uh, a little bit breezy. Not bad. Sun is shining, obviously. It's a beautiful morning. And it was time for these girls to hit the green grass. It's not overly tall. It's going to be a lot of water in it. There's some nutrient, but holy jumping Jiminy's skeeters are out. But uh, these guys will do better out here, I'm thinking. We'll let them chew it off, then we'll move them into a bush pasture, then we could bring them back, so on and so forth. <clears throat> we get some rain, this grass out here will just explode everywhere actually, bush pasture and here. If we can only get some rain, that's the big stipulation. Not these little piss ass dust dampener showers. So this is our home group. So cows go out to pasture on the homeland. We still got all of the rented pasture. We gotta haul them girls out. Uh, CP and I got just over halfway, around a quarter yesterday through lots of bush and lots of, to be honest, screwed up fencing by previous renters and whoever was in there looking after the fences before. Not overly impressed with the fencing that was going on there. But uh, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Anywho, I'll have to get some salt and minerals out here for these girls but that's a trip to the city to pick some up because I was just checking our stock supply and we're out. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go for now and uh, maybe we'll bring you back once we're out in the bush doing some fencing and we'll have a whole lot of this stuff on to control the skeeters and the ticks later. Look out, there's a doe coming through the trees. <laughs> talking about you there's a doe coming through the trees well guys this is our bush pasture that we're renting this year hopefully the land is actually for sale it just went on the market what today. like today. today or yesterday it's been less than 24 hours and they got a viewing already. And it's solid bush. The biggest open area, there's like three open areas. They're about maybe five to 10 acres each outside of the pathways like this here along the fence lines. Um, you got lots of trees down. I just got done cutting one the hell off the fence. Yesterday we did just over half, right? Found lots of wood ticks, even with it being colder. When it comes to wood ticks, I don't think the wood ticks are actually attracted to you. I think you're the mother wood tick and you're hatching them. <laughs> because man, they love you. <laughs> Good blood, yeah. <laughs> uh, I had three on me. I lost count how many we had on her. But today, we sprayed down heavy duty with the old musk oh, oil. The mosquitoes. The skeeters in the open are horrendous. Coming out here with the big blue, I was safe, but CP was in the side-by-side, -side, and she was getting eaten alive in the side-by. But anyway... We got to continue on, so uh, there's sloughs, there's potholes, there's water, there's grass, there's trees, there's you name her, we got her, and there's rocks, lots of big rocks. So we have to really pay attention to what we're doing. So I'm going to let you guys go. We'll bring you back when we stop 
for a coffee break. Later. Well, guys, CP just told me she wanted a divorce. What? You did. You just said you wanted a divorce. What's wrong with you? What did you just say? I said I might as well get sheep again. I'm exactly. That's just as bad as saying you want a divorce. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. Let me tell the story. It was your idea for me to get sheep years ago. Boy, was that a mistake. You didn't want to sell them when it came time I was selling. So I kept them for another three years because of you. No. No. Yeah. No. Because he didn't want to cut grass. Well, guess what? I cut the grass. And you're a damn good grass cutter. We're not getting sheep again. That's like saying you want goats. I'm gonna get a goat. No, you're not. That's divorce. I'm gonna get one for my ponies. No, that's divorce. No goats, no sheep. It's bad enough you got pigs what? running around the yard. What did Kyle send you this morning? <laughs> that was yesterday. Okay, yesterday. <laughs> I'll put that on my video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah. A good steak requires a little fat. Everybody loves a little fat on their good <laughs> steak. So it goes the same for men. A good man has a little fat on him. <laughs> and I've been trying to phone somebody and it won't work. So I guess I'm going to have to phone Sastel. The line is right here. There, look, see, Sask tell it's a little faded but uh danger underground telephone cable please call well i've been trying to phone them but it ain't fucking working god dang it just can't win you got you got a wood tick <laughs> yeah you guys heard the song right check her for ticks <laughs> later okay guys so I just unwrapped this new looking wire it was just to the top of this post we're coming from way the fuck down there this way so we don't know what's ahead of us right but whoever fixed this fence in the past all they did see this I stretched that goddamn wire that way and the only thing holding is that barb and that staple. Why not tie that friggin' wire to the friggin' brand new wire? So, so, hey, so since I do such a good job, I'm allowed to get a good. Hey, watch, watch. What? What? I'm, I'm a good wife. Yeah. 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 So I'm allowed to get a goat. No. <laughs> Come on. No. Tell them, people. No. <laughs> and you are us? Yours? I really don't know what your first name is, what you are us is, if that is your name. She's not getting a goat. I don't care how much you like goats. <laughs> <laughs> Just a wither or whatever you call them. No. I'm a really good husband. I search you for ticks so you don't get diseases. <laughs> Anyways, this is what, look at this. Here, I want to show you guys something else. What the fuck, right? Like, what is that all about? I don't get, this is definitely not a BCP repair job, but it's a turning into, that's why it's taking us so long to get over all this fencing is because of stuff like this. I can't tell you how many times we found where the wire came to a post and the wire came to a post and they just wrapped it around the post. Instead of splicing the wire and making a nice long straight strand, they just wrapped it around the friggin' post. There's no... That's not how you fix fence. See that? See, CP just unraveled the one hunk of wire. And look at that. It doesn't make no damn sense. 
Anyway, just my bitch of the day. Talk to y'all later. I don't mind fencing as long as it's done right to begin with. Look at the fence that you and I built. Anybody, all of you new guys out there, go back in our videos and check out. It's like a four-part friggin' series. There's lots of stuff mixed in it, but how to build a four-wire fence yourself, I think is what it's called. Parts one, two, and three, and four. I can't remember exactly. It's from a couple, two, three years ago. But anyway, go check it out. You'll see how we like to build fence, and here we are fixing someone else's garbage. Talk to y'all later. Alrighty guys, well, we made her all the way around. I gotta do some repairs on a gate right behind me. But this is the yard site, guys. This place is for sale as of yesterday. And I'll show you the realtor here right away. So it's a 1400 square, 14 or 1450 square foot house. The building with the door open, that's a wood shed because there's two wood burners in this house, a wood stove upstairs and a wood stove downstairs that's plumbed into the ductwork. A two car garage but single door. This is a 40 by 60 uh, post frame storage building which can be, I believe, converted. Yeah, well, why can't you? You can convert it into a 40 by 60 shop and heat it if the guy wanted to. So it sits on 160 acres. It's uh, being sold through Remax Realty. And the... Uh, um, the realtor is Shauna Bailey. There you go. If you guys can make that out, that's the phone number. Right there. So Anyway, like I was saying, as far as the fencing goes, we made it all the way back to the yard. We got to do some work on the one gate right there, going from the yard into the pasture, and then I got to do a little bit of work on this gate right here. So, but other than that, she's ready for animals. So Big Blue can go home. I have no idea what time it is. CP and I have been out here since just before 10 a.m. and I think it's pushing 6:37 o'clock. It's been a long day out here. So my mirrors are all screwed up from driving through bush. That one's almost looking out the other side. That one's showing me the tire and the ground going by. That one's working. But yeah, We've got a few extra scrapes and bruises on Big Blue here. Uh, war damage from fixing fence. Anywho, kick him out of four by. She was a nasty track going around that. It's been a long time since I've had to fix fence that was in this condition. But we got her done. That's all that matters. So, let's get our butts home and uh, see what's happening over there. Talk to you later. Okay, guys. How's it going today, babe? <laughs> Break off. In gear. Number one. Load number three, I'm going to rent it, Baxter. Uh, six cows per load, it's 18. I don't know how many calves we've shipped so far, not very many, like three. Basically all the calves are at home yet. Um, 
There's four cows left. Here, see if you can get that on video. There, big old hawk sitting right on our fence picket, keeping guard of the yard. Whoop, there you go. Yeah, he likes your chickens. But this will be another 22 head out of the yard. And 22 head less that we have to feed. So there's a couple of new cows going. And mostly it's... Boy, my windows are dirty. Mostly it's cows that have been there before. Anywho, we'll get this load over there and I'll bring you guys back then. Here we go, babe. That little thing got shit on. That one never. Come on. Out you go, out you go. Come on. That's her. That's her. Let's see B close the other gate. And then head for home for the last load for this pasture anyway and if some of you guys that were with us last fall you'll remember that this yellow grass was mid rib cage high on adult cows and you couldn't even see calves in it and they never even got a chance to chew it off 90% of the grass from last year is still here it's all that yellow stuff but there's lots of green coming in too. So they'll be able to chew here for a while. Here she comes. There she is, slowly but surely. Alrighty, I'll let you go. We'll bring you all back later. Three cows and a whole whack of calves. So 21 total head, not 22. Untie my safety. Pull the pin. And bring them on out. Okay. I'll bring you guys back after. Few of them are figuring out where the hole is. And that red one and that black one beside his mama were the last two born for this group. These other girls, they're happy chewing the grass on the inside of the corral. Might have to go in there and push them out so they all mother up properly. All right, I'll let you guys go. We'll talk to you all later. I'm not sure what's happening for the rest of the day because it's only like 1 o'clock now. So, anyway. 99. Which one's that? 
He's over there. Oh, that one, the last bull calf born. But he ain't a bull. No. They're figuring it out. They're coming now. Okay, later.